excited you're able to join us uh, for the Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society installation of chapter and induction of new members here at Edward Waters College. I am pleased at this time to turn it over to the Executive Director for Alpha Lambda Delta from the National Office in Fairport, New York, Eileen Merberg, who will carry out the installation and induction ceremony. Thank you, Christian. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the installation ceremony. We are thrilled to have you here and thrilled to install our newest chapter at Edward Waters College. I'd like to also uh, have uh, Bradley introduce himself. He's going to be co-facilitating tonight. Yes, hello everyone. I am Bradley Taylor and I serve as a professional member at large on our National Council for Alpha Lambda Delta. And it is certainly a pleasure to be with you all um, today for this chapter installation. We're always excited to welcome new chapters and glad to have Edward Waters join our family. I also serve as a co-advisor to a chapter here at High Point University in Central North Carolina. So um, I do get the fun and joy of working with the chapter. Great. Okay. So normally we would be in person, of course, like everything else, uh, we're online. Um, and so hopefully uh, in the future when, you're, when your next group of students join, uh, you can have an in-person ceremony. Uh, but with Zoom, we're going to try and make it special uh, and uh, do the best we can uh, to really help welcome you into the organization. Uh, so this evening, uh, and we're just going to be about 20 to 30 minutes tops, uh, we did our introductions. And so the way this works is we induct you, all, all the students individually, um, we'll officially induct you as members. We do have some honorary members to uh, give membership to. Then we'll officially install the chapter because, as we know, this is a new chapter for Alpha Lambda Delta. We have a brief video. Uh, that's a recording from the national organization from our national council offering a welcome. Bradley's in that video too. Uh, I'll talk a little bit about chapter benefits and then we'll close it up. So that is our agenda for this evening. All right, and so um, Alpha Lambda Delta is a national society uh, which honors high academic achievement in the first year of college. So certainly a congrats to you all. Uh, the purpose of our organization is to encourage superior academic achievement among students in their first year in institutions of higher education, um, to promote intelligent living and a continued high standard of learning. Um, and finally, to assist students in recognizing and developing meaningful goals uh, for their roles in society. And so Alpha Lambda Delta was founded as an honor society in 1924, 96 years ago, at the University of Illinois by the Dean of Women, Mariah Leonard. And what an amazing photo here <laughs> to show our history. It soon became a national organization as chapters were established at Purdue University in 1926 and DePaul University in 1927. The growth of the society has continued to almost 400 chapters recognized. These candidates who are now presented for induction have attained the highest standard required by National Alpha Lambda Delta and are worthy to be recognized by both Edward Waters College and this organization for their notable achievement and scholarship. We are here to inform the new inductees concerning our organization and ask them to take the pledge to make the best possible use of your education. The initials of our name stand for the Greek words Aleloi Lampadia Diadosisen, which stands for the motto, we shall pass our torches on one to another. The insignia of Alpha Lambda Delta represents a lighted candle. The golden base of the candle signifies honesty and integrity which are the foundation on which we build. The shaft of our candle signifies strength and courage, and the light of our candle signifies truth and wisdom, which can dispel ignorance and superstition and give us insight to live well in our time. The red represents the burning flame of knowledge, the white represents the search for truth, and the gold represents the strong base of honor. These, our three colors, symbolize the standards held by the members of Alpha Lambda Delta. 
Your education is the means by which you learn to recognize the wonders of science, to appreciate the beauty of great literature and art, to use well your own language, to learn the lessons of past history, to speak and read the languages of others, to study the social and political forces of our world, and to discuss the thought and philosophy of other ages. Through these means, you can evaluate the forces and standards of your generation and learn to live significantly. We now wish to induct individually the students who have earned the privilege of becoming charter members of the Edward Waters College chapter of Alpha Lambda Delta. Okay, so the way this will work is, again, if we were in person, you would read aloud uh, the pledge. And so I'll just read it for you uh, and you could sort of follow along, uh, say it uh, if wherever you are, um, but this is the pledge for Alpha Lambda Delta. I accept membership into National Alpha Lambda Delta, understanding that in doing so, I assume the responsibility of continuing to maintain its standards of service, of diligence, and of integrity. I pledge to promote high scholarship and to use my education for the benefit of my community, my nation, and the world in which we live. So that is the pledge, which we'll just say you all said aloud. Uh, and what I'd like you to do is uh, take a moment um, to watch the screen. And when you see your name, type in the chat box your response to the pledge as if you had just said it aloud uh, by typing I accept in the chat. And these are the charter members of Alpha Lambda Delta at Edward Water. So go ahead if you are here, uh, type in I accept. You have now recorded your induction into Alpha Lambda Delta on the 30th day of October 2020. We give you a huge congratulations on not only this notable achievement for you, but also for joining this new chapter. May you find in the years ahead the rewards of an educated person, imagination, adventure, humor, compassion, and understanding. May you have tolerance in your dealings with other people, generosity in giving to those in need, and insight into the feelings of others. In relating to your education, to the world in which you live, you can make a meaningful contribution to society. You have taken the Alpha Lambda Delta Pledge, and yes, you are now members of the National Society. Congrats! Woohoo! <laughs> Congratulations. Wonderful. Okay, so we now have some honorary members uh, so that they may assist in these services today and, and, your, uh, and for the future. Uh, your advisor, Christian Bowers, has been declared an honorary member. Uh, he is Assistant Professor of Mathematics, Faculty Chair of Honors College, and I just want to give a big thank you to Christian for all the work to put the chapter together to work with us in the national office. Uh, he's done a fabulous job helping invite students and find, you know, identify eligible students, invite students, uh, encourage them to join. He's done a great job. He's a great advisor. Uh, so thank you, Christian, and welcome as an honorary member. Thank you, Eileen, um, and I really appreciate all the work that you've done and helped us with uh, all, setting all this up. Um, so additional honorary members, Dr. A. Zachary Faison, Jr., President and CEO, Dr. Donna H. Oliver, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, Dr. Stephanie G. Campbell, Associate Provost for Student Success, Research Initiatives and Faculty Affairs, Dr. Pamela S. Wilkes, Chief of Staff and Assistant to the President for Strategic Initiative, Takaya Green-Levi, Administrative Specialist for Academic Affairs and EWC Honors College. Thank you all for your support of First Year Student Success and Alpha Lambda Delta uh, and supporting this chapter. Um, we really appreciate it. It takes a village uh, uh, for student success, so thank you for that. Absolutely. I concur with Eileen. It's so important that 
um, that there be support. And so in recognition of your academic achievements, personal accomplishments, and your interest in the academic attainments of students, we confer upon each of you honorary membership in Alpha Lambda Delta. Your charge is to continue to support and encourage the ideals and high standards of this society, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, great. We are moving on to installing the chapter officially uh, um, welcoming you to the Alpha Lambda Delta family. So it is our privilege to install the Edward Waters chapter. Uh, at this installation service, we wish to emphasize your responsibilities as a chapter to uphold the ideals and high academic standards that National Alpha Lambda Delta presents to your institution through you. As individual members, you must demonstrate your scholarship, honor, and enthusiasm, but that's not enough for you as members for, to use this privilege for yourselves. We hope that you'll be a creative working force on the campus, for we must pass our torches on one to another. And what we mean by that is we're hoping the idea of Alpha Lambda Delta, among many things, is to encourage academic success in your next group of first year students, and that that be the cycle. Uh, that you've shown that it's possible uh, to achieve a 3.5 or higher, uh, and you could be role models each year uh, for the next group of first-year students. We're very excited about uh, this next piece. Um, the aims of our society are to promote high standards of living and learning, encourage high academic attainment. Uh, Alpha Lambda Delta's goals are now your goals. And so we charge you with this responsibility and as representatives between uh, Bradley and myself from the national office, uh, we declare you the Edward Waters College chapter regularly installed and endow you with all the rights and privileges thereof. And in token of your formal admission into the organization, we will present you with the charter, the chapter charter. Uh, and we're very excited about this chapter charter. Kristen, do you have it? Did you um, get it yet? No, I don't think I've received that one yet. Okay, so it's in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> right. You did get certificates? Yeah, those certificates yeah. in the paper. Good. We'll, have, we'll uh, talk about the, those in a minute. But this charter we're very um, excited about because it's pretty special. Uh, so we hire a calligrapher to hand draw all your names onto parchment paper that looks like that. That's a sample you see on your screens. Um, but you'll have one on your campus. And it's only done once. Uh, once in a lifetime, just for the charter members, just for the initial members that joined. Uh, so for all of you, your um, names were hand drawn by a calligrapher onto this and we'll send this to Christian and hopefully you could frame it uh, and hang it somewhere on campus and it'll be there forever. So that's your legacy uh, and it's a nice thing. So go find it once he receives it. Hope you'll hear from him, I'm sure. Uh, and go find it and go see your name. At this time, I'd like to introduce Dr. Donna H. Oliver, Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs, and give her a moment for some remarks. Well, thank you so very much, uh, Mr. Bowers. Uh, in the words of Maya Angelou, um, life is not measured by the number of breaths we take, but by those moments that take our breath away. And I want to say that for me, this is one of those moments that has taken my breath away to know that I am a part of the history of Edward Waters College, being that we now have our first charter after 154 years uh, with Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society. And to know that the students who are on this Zoom call with me, who have earned the right to be inducted into this society to, to, uh, today, you now are leaving a legacy behind at Edward Waters College to have your name on that charter etched in the history of Edward Waters College forever. That is absolutely amazing. Eileen, what would we be without technology during this pandemic and without the technology having a mind of its own? So we all understand how that can happen. But I want to personally, on behalf of our president, A. Zachary Faison Jr., thank you and Bradley for being with us today uh, to carry out this wonderful ceremony for these special, special students of ours. I also want to thank Professor Bowers 
who has given up himself tirelessly uh, to lead not only our honors college, but this honors society and for ensuring that we were able to grandfather in uh, some of our students who are not freshmen or sophomores, uh, but who did ma maintain that 3.5 especially and continue to do that today. I know one in particular uh, is about a junior, I think, and has a 4.0. So here at Edward Waters, we do indeed applaud excellence and we are so very proud of these students that are here today. I want to recognize members of the president's executive cabinet who also recognize the importance of scholarship and excellence in the academy. They have taken time away from their busy schedules to be on this Zoom call today. And, and I checked and every vice president, uh, Dr. Bryan, our AD, they are on this call along with the academic affairs leadership. So thank you for being here. In the words of William James, a great American philosopher and psychologist, the greatest use of life is to spend it for something that will outlast it. And I say to the students here this afternoon, what could possibly be more constant and enduring than your educational, spiritual, and service foundations that will indeed catapult you into leadership positions that will help you one day, I'm sure, be a world changer. Congratulations again to each of you for earning the right to be inducted into the Alpha Lambda Delta National Honor Society for first year success. This afternoon, you are receiving this honor because you have used your academic prowess to demonstrate one, your commitment to intellectual excellence in the academy. Two, your determination to practice meritocracy and not mediocrity. And three, your decision to be intentional learners accepting responsibility for your own education with the goal of becoming not only world changers, but transformational leaders. You have made the decision as young men and women to write your own story. Yes, you are the author of your life, which I dare to say makes you well on your way to spending your life doing something that will surely outlast it. In the words of Johann Wolfgang von Goethe, a German writer and statesman, dream no small dreams, for they have no power to move the hearts of men. Dream big, think big, and we thank you for dreaming no small dreams. This evening, I salute you for this singular honor. The president and the executive cabinet salute you. Your faculty and your staff salute you. And I would venture to say even your peers salute you. Now, we know your parents and grandparents and godparents and aunts and uncles and all of your family members are just beaming with joy, with pride, for your having come to Edward Waters College and after the first year maintained a GPA that has garnered you this great honor. We are all very proud of you and you have proven that you are making a wise investment in your future. As I close, I want to leave with you five golden nuggets. I call them the golden nuggets of life because they have served me well throughout my long life. And I think they may serve you on your journey to spending your life for something that will outlast it. I have also shared these nuggets with my two grandchildren, 12 and 15. And while they don't truly understand them, I have them printed so they can see them every day. And they, like you, one day will look back on these nuggets and say, you know, the provost was right. Number one, stay humble. Celebrate your success. 
but don't let it feed your ego. Number two, remember that quality is not an act, but a habit. Number three is a little saying my grandmother used to say, good, better, best. Never let it rest till your good is better and your better is best. Number four, failure is a temporary setback on an extended journey. Remember, failure is inevitable and we all have experienced it and if you haven't, keep living, you will. But remember that every failure you survive is a learning experience that makes you stronger. Pick yourself up, dust yourself off, and get back on the path to success again. And finally, stop trying to be normal. The only way to stand out is to be your idiosyncratic real self. Own who you are and stop blending in. Don't let other people define your boundaries. And this is the clincher. Remember this, people only define you to confine you. Remember that. EWC scholars, you have ignited the torch. Now carry it high that others may see your good work and follow your light. We applaud you. We are so thankful for your commitment to excellence. And once again, we congratulate you for being the initial group, for being the legends of Alpha Delta, uh, Alpha Lambda Delta Honor Society at Edward Waters College. Thank you for this opportunity, Mr. Bowers, to speak to our students. And again, thank you so very much to our guests for being with us on today. Wow, <laughs> that's how <laughs> I can't find my clap button on my uh, um, Zoom. Fantastic, that was amazing. Thank you so much. I've uh, facilitated a lot of online ceremonies, both installation and induction, and, and that was one of the best talks I've heard. Thank you so much. That was wonderful. Very motivating and thank you. Right on. And I'm writing down those five things. Oh, great. <laughs> I hope our students did. Yeah. <laughs> I am. This is being recorded, everybody. So if you didn't get them fast enough, you go back to the recording. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you so much, Dr. Oliver. Uh, so in addition to that charter we mentioned, you do each get a certificate and a pin, a little insignia pin and a custom certificate with your name on it. And I'm going to leave this to Christian to talk about how you, since we're not in person, how you'll get those. All right. Thank you so much, um, and thank you, Dr. Oliver. That was uh, very inspirational. Um, so for scholars, congratulations uh, on your excellent achievements. I'm very proud of you. I know all of you, um, and, and I'm just very, very happy and excited for you. Uh, I have these certificates and pins in my office. I'm going to send each one of you an email and uh, just give you instructions how we can get these uh, pins and certificates for you. They're really nice. Uh, good quality. You're going to want to get it framed. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll look for that email. I'll send it today by uh, 5 p.m. Okay, right after this. Great. Okay. Um, I'm going to just take a few minutes more uh, to talk about um, five key, five or six, I think, key um, benefits. Um, and I'm not going to, let's see if the website works, if I have any tech trouble. Um, I'm not going to read each page to you, but I just want to point them out. I'll point you to them, uh, essentially. So our website has a lot of information. Um, we're at nationalald.org. And so the first thing that I wanted to highlight was our scholarship. So we offer uh, a number of scholarships exclusive to ALD members. Uh, so check out our scholarship page. And then in particular, I wanted to also point out, we do provide a nice resource page here of external scholarships, non-ALD scholarships, just to link you with others. You probably have scholarship resources 
on your campus, but um, there's a lot of national scholarships out there looking for high achieving students. And I'll bet you that you're all quite eligible um, for these. So check, check out those. Um, we have a fairly unique program called ALD Perks, and this is a discount program. Advisors are welcome to sign up for this. This is open to anybody, honorary members and, and all students. Uh, you do need to sign up, it's an opt-in. It's just a, it's a benefit for membership that is uh, perks and discounts, like 300,000 different um, discounts, like pizza and movie tickets and uh, oil changes and all sorts of things. Uh, you do need to register for it. It's an app on your phone. If you give them your zip code, they'll even connect you to local discounts as well as national discounts. So again, just a perk of ALD membership. Uh, this is a really nice program we just launched a few weeks ago that you can um, get certified in leadership uh, for participating in this. It's a series of mini courses, uh, 12 of them. Um, in all sorts of topics, decision-making, uh, communication skills, networking, listening, uh, understanding yourself, uh, your brand, your social media branding. Uh, if you complete 10 out of 12, you'll be issued a national certification. Uh, and this is LEED certified, so ALD LEED certified. Uh, the next one is our career conversations. This is also fairly new for us. And what we've done is partnered with our alumni who are very successful in their fields, uh, researched what their majors were and where they are working now. And so we're hosting Zoom conversations with them. We are recording them. So any of these others early in October, uh, we will post the recordings of. The next one is November 4th for environmental science. And you can see these other topics. Uh, so again, brief 30 minute conversations. You can be joining live with them to, to have conversations with them or view the recordings. Two more things real quick. We have these partnerships that we're um, pretty excited about. Uh, again, just um, a variety of uh, educational resources. A lot of them are internship programs that automatically offer Alpha Lambda Delta scholarships. Uh, so you automatically get $150 off or $500 off for internships in DC or internationally. Scholars is a really cool program. It's like, uh, like a dating <laughs> site. It matches, you create a profile with your strengths and career interests or internship interests and employers are doing the same and then it'll match you uh, with an employer looking for the skills you said you had. Uh, so check out Scholars, you have to create a profile. Magoosh is a test prep discount um, offer. So those are our partners. And the last thing I wanted to point out is our store. If you're excited about being a member of Alpha Lambda Delta and you want to wear swag and hoodies and t-shirts with, with letters or the name Alpha Lambda Delta on it, um, we have buttons and pens and cups and all sorts of items at the ALD store. And then most importantly is the honor cord that uh, a lot of students like to wear at graduation. This is the official place in our colors where you'd get an honor cord to wear at graduation. Okay. Uh, the last thing before, well, I want to just talk about involvement, but um, we are pretty active on these four, of course, uh, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. We're always at National ALD, so we'd love a follow. Uh, we're about to announce that we just installed this chapter, so your names are, are going to appear uh, in a graphic on Instagram either tonight or tomorrow, uh, so follow us at National ALD. And last but not least, I'm going to have Bradley talk a little bit about, and, Chris, and uh, yeah, Christian too, if you want, just a little bit about getting involved as a chapter. Absolutely, Eileen. Thank you so much for sharing all those wonderful benefits. Um, and I encourage you all as new members to take full advantage of those benefits. Um, Dr. Oliver, thank you so much for all of those words of encouragement and uh, those nuggets and certainly words of congratulations. We extend that congratulations to both Edward Waters College and to each of you for joining ALD. And uh, we thank Christian for his involvement as the chapter advisor and being a resource. You know, Alpha Lambda Delta is a family. We are a national family, but you also are a family there at Edward Waters College. And so this chapter is your chapter. Um, and my message is simple. Get involved. Um, make that chapter what you want it to be. 
um, get involved as an officer. Um, and I'm sure that there's ample opportunity to create events, whether they be in person or virtual, and also find ways to make a difference, both on your campus as well as in your community. Um, some of the graphics here on the screen are, are just a few examples of what our chapters are doing nationally, whether that is a service project annually um, in their local community, trying to spread awareness about some cause on their campus, um, getting together to build friendships and networks through maybe a movie night or even a virtual movie night. Um, sometimes you might bring in faculty or um, persons in leadership who can share ideas or share um, kind of best practices, whether that be for career preparation or for how to get involved in research or other things like that. And so I just encourage you to make this chapter your chapter. Um, you know, try to find ways and creative ways to get involved and get your peers involved because now is the start. And so how you start is, is going to set the pathway forward. And we have a lot of great resources also on our website that may share examples of programs, both in person and virtual, that you can take advantage of. There's also, as Eileen mentioned on our social media, some great tools um, for leaders and, and connecting with other officers from different schools and institutions in the ALD family. Um, each year we have a national leadership uh, conference um, for some of our chapter officers, and we look forward to having uh, you all represented next year. This year we did a virtual conference, and it was extremely successful um, earlier in October, so we're excited for you all to participate next year. Um, but again, I say it very simply, get involved and make this your experience. And so Christian, is there anything you'd like to share about involvement and, and getting the chapter uh, going? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much, Bradley. Um, one thing, um, one of the visions that I have is, well, there'll be definitely opportunities for student leadership. So, uh, and I would like to see uh, students uh, involved in helping fellow classmates with tutoring. You guys are all scholars, so we can harness that um, natural talents that you have and all that you've worked for and uh, reinvest it into the uh, EWC community, but also not just that, but also we have some local um, schools within walking distance from here. And, um, you know, with COVID now, we can have to do that probably virtually, but I have vision of you guys using your talents to help uh, the next generation of kids and just let them see your your life and then just be there to help them and tutor them and mentor them. And so there's so many rich opportunities for uh, you guys here to reinvest into our community. And looking forward to your leadership on those. I'll, I'll give you some guidelines and some directions, but I've got uh, some good, pretty good ideas and plans to help you guys out. That officially concludes our ceremony this evening. Uh, Christian, anything more you wanted to that wrapped you know, up? Just thank you again for uh, all you uh, atten uh, attended, and thank yes. you, Eileen and Bradley, for for facilitating and, and leading this uh, very good uh, ceremony. Thanks. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks, everyone, for attending. Thank you, Dr. Oliver, for your words of inspiration. Uh, thanks so much. Congratulations to all. Have a good evening.